Hi friends, welcome to our YouTube channel Mysore Studio. I am at the Mysore Palace, the South Gate. The Ambari Bus City Tour starts from the South Gate of Mysore Palace. There is wide, spacious parking area close to the South Gate of the Mysore Palace. You can park your cars and two-wheelers bikes at this place. The Mysore Palace is a very busy area, very active area, full of tourists, commercialism and uh, businesses. You see here, very close to the south gate, you get the horse ride, Tonga ride or the chariot horse ride. You see, people are having a very good time enjoying the chariot ride. And this is the exact location where the double decker bus, Ambari bus city tour begins from. This is the pickup point. The double tucker Ambari city tour bus has arrived at the pickup point. Come, I will take you on a walkthrough of the Ambari double tucker city tour bus. We are inside the Ambari double decker bus at the ground floor. We have reclining seats with a cushion, soft cushion and the windows. The windows are super wide to give you a good view of the outside environment. Here we see the air conditioned outlets. You, if you want you can open it, uh, change the direction of the vents or even close it if you do not wish to have the air condition. Now we are at the open top floor of the double decker Ambari city tour bus. Here the seats are made of fiber or plastic, no cushion seats, no reclining seats and you have the seat belts which you are supposed to wear it. Sir, Namaste. Hello, sir, Sir, you are Sir, this is the Ambari bus. This new location, Palace Southgate. Sir, this is the city round. 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 Sir, this is the city Sir, Sir, I will tell you that I will Sir, Sir, am very famous. I'm 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 The Mysore Ambari double decker bus city tour begins now. Initially, we have the tour of the Mysore Palace.
This gate located on the eastern side of the Mysore Palace is very grand and magnificent. It is the Jayamarthanda gate. The Vadiyars use the Jayamarthanda gate to begin any religious festival. And also during Dasra, the Dasra elephants enter the Mysore Palace through the Jayamarthanda gate. <laughs> We are now approaching the Harding Circle, commonly known as the R Gate. It is the intersection of six roads. You also find the statue of Sri Jaya Chama Rajendra Wadayar, constructed in the year 2016. We are now traveling along the Albert Victor Road. It begins from the R gate towards the north gate of Mysore Palace and further down to the Mysore City bus stand and KR Circle. We are now at the northern part of the Mysore Palace. The twin gates of Jayarama and Balarama is located here. The golden howda carrying elephant passes through the Balarama gate on Vijayadashmi day, cumulating the Navaratri festival. Kote Anchaneya Swami temple is located here. It is a very popular temple. Processions and many jatra take place from this landmark. Opposite the north gate, you also find the statue of Maharaja Chama Rajendra Vadiyar, built during the year 1920. It is the Silver Jubilee Clock Tower, commonly popularly known as Dodda Gadigara built in the year 1927 by Nalwadi Krishna Raja Vadiyar. Silver Jubilee Clock Tower or Dodda Gadigara is located exactly opposite to the Mysore Town Hall. The park in front of you is the Kupana Park located at Nasarbad. The annual Mysore Dasra flower show or flower festival takes place in this location at the Kupana Park Nasarbad.
Mysus first underwater tunnel water aquarium. I have made a detailed video on it. The poster will be at the end of this video. Kindly select it and watch the video. Thank you. Sri Chama Rajendra Zoological Gardens, commonly known as the Mysore Zoo, was started in the year 1892. It covers 157 acres and has 168 species. The Mysore Race Club is very popular. The Mysore Race annual seasonal race takes place every season. It is very popular. A lot of betting happens. Money changes over. It is very exciting place. The Karanji Lake located at the heart of the Mysore city. Boating facilities are available here. Go and enjoy it. We are at the SP office circle. Here we will find the bust of martyred SP officer T. Hari Krishna. He was also a chief of the STF and led a team to nab the forest brigade Virapan and in this pursuit was martyred.
Saint Philomena's Cathedral or Saint Philomena's Church was built in the year 1936. Its architecture is neo-Gothic style, inspired from the Cologne Cathedral in Germany. It is one of the tallest churches in Asia. This is the famous Muda grounds where the Mysore Dasra final day functions takes place. The torchlight parade and the Jumbo Savari concludes at this place, the Muda grounds, Bani Mantap.
Different Clock Tower, popularly known as the Chikka Gadigara Little Clock near Kaya Circle was constructed in the year 1886. Lord Dufferin was the Viceroy of India and he visited Mysore in the year 1886 and in his memory we have the Dufferin Clock Tower. The very famous popular Kaya Circle of Mysore, it has the marble statue of Krishna Raja Wadiya built during the year 1952. Mysore Palace West Side along the Saji Rao Road, you get the Brahmapuri Gate. It is one of the oldest gates and used by the royal family. The Mysore City Corporation building, we must thank them for Mysore being voted the cleanest city. Thank you.